Hi, this is Brad Sharpens Best.com. Uh, oh, actually, it's open at the bottom. I thought I was going to have to cut it open here. Um, we get specific comments sometimes about specific knives. And uh, this one was actually about uh, the Fiskars knife here. And it's called a Fiskars K40. And I'll cut it out of the package here in a second. And it's got a sheath here with it. And um, who knows, maybe it's a floatable uh knife or something um, um, let's see okay well that's easier and take the sheath out take the knife out and pull that off of there and it looks like there really isn't too much to it, okay? And I don't think there's anything there important, so. Anyway, it's called the K40. It's a Fisker, K40, just in case you're wondering. And uh, you can go to Fisker.com and look at uh, some of the knives. So let's see here, we got a, a plastic sheath. It has a hole in it, drain the water out. If you're carrying it like this, it's raining, and the sheath won't fill up. Uh, it's got a hard plastic handle on it, and I don't, think there's anything there but it's got a good handle um, probably for fish and and things like that wildlife uh, you know you're out hunting hiking camping fishing and it's uh, fairly thin it's stainless steel uh, doesn't say anything on there about what kind of stainless but probably in the 440 420 range um, it's got a big handle for better control on the blade that's pretty good it's pretty stiff um, and the knife kind of snaps it yeah yeah, it does snap in there. I can see inside there why it would. And uh, just snaps in there like that. And then you do have a, a belt loop up there. And so let's look and see uh, how sharp it is right now. And we're Denver Magazine. We're always using the Denver Magazine. And partly because you can go to your city, more than likely, find uh, a Chicago Magazine, a Detroit Magazine, a... Uh, Los Angeles Magazine, whatever, and they're probably going to be very similar. I would almost imagine that they're actually made by the same company all over the United States and maybe all over the world. And get off of that. <laughs> that works really well. All right, so let's take it and see what we got for sharp. It, it looks sharp. Okay, that isn't really too bad. Oop, yeah. Uh, you kind of lose it if you get right into it it isn't too bad but it it needs a little help okay if i pinch it like that okay so if you're out and you got your keys okay we got two sharpeners on these keys and um we have the rectangle and the round so let's use the the round one first and i'm just going to set it down like this kind of on my leg and then brush out towards the point towards the tip of the blade just like that set it down here and go right on around the radius and out off the tip. There's two corners on the sharpener. There's a, a 90 degree corner there and a 90 degree corner there. They're just two 90 degree corners. 90 degree corners, just like what's on the back of a knife, there's a 90 degree corner there and a 90 degree corner there. These uh, 90 degree corners are not as hard as the 90 degree corners on the sharpener though. Sharpener is much harder than the uh, blade, okay? So we just do this again, kind of show you how I would use the round poker chip sharpener. <coughs> if I was out somewhere and wanted to sharpen something, don't have to take it off of the keys. So just like this. And now we'll touch it really light. Take that wire edge off the blade. Something that was already pretty sharp, it just takes like a 30 second tune up. Doesn't have to take, uh, you know, a minute and a half, two, three minutes, something like that. So let's see what we got now for sharp. Oh my, what a difference. All right, so let's take uh, the rectangle, which is on the other end of the keys here. Kind of wad the keys up a little bit. Take this, get it in my fingers, and go right through there like that. I'm gonna set it down for a second. Don't try to cheat and get to the cutting edge by tipping it down this way. There's about a 12 degree bevel. 12 and 12 is 24. 12 on this side, 12 on this side, 12 and 12 is 24 combined. 
Okay, so we want to stay at about a 11, 12, 13 degree bevel, in my opinion. Some other people may think it needs to be thicker, so it'll last longer. I want my knives to cut extremely well, and then I'll just have to be a little bit careful what I cut with them, or touch them up, sharpen them. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to polish the blade a little bit. I don't think I've ever seen a knife that was new that would cut the way I can make them cut. It's just not in them, you know? All right, let's see. Woo. That's quiet. Good Lord. And that is sharp. So we got a Fisker's knife, and it was a K40, I believe. You know, watch it not be on this one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm right. It's not on there. Anyway, it is a K40. Fisker's K40. I think it's a pretty good knife. You'd have to try it for a while and see how it holds an edge. I suspicion that that handle's hollow. If you drop that in the water, at least it'll float like this. Maybe the orange you'll see. Maybe you can get it back out of the water. Right there it is. Fisker's K40. Good knife. I imagine we'll put them on our website. This is Brad. You take care. Have a good day. Sharpensbest.com.